my studio is absolute mess. I've been here for the last week or so, constantly working, almost day and night. And I have to say, a mixed day with the night. I like to be here in late afternoons and evenings. It's the best time for me to work and focus on the work. The best time for me to contemplate what I did a day before or night before. Focus and dive in into the work and spend time only with painting. Be that translator between my eyes and thoughts and what is happening on the canvas. And I love what is happening there. And I love to translate that into finished painting. Right now I'm getting into the second stage with all of the paintings that I did within the last week and a half. That second stage is focusing on finishing. That's where the notes are put together into beautiful rhythm, beautiful melody. And those paintings now are going to be my card, my soul outside of me, my soul represented on the surface of the canvas through the oil, through the medium of oil, through the brush stroke, through the paintbrush that directed me to create all those things. So I'm looking forward to diving more into the second sessions for all of those pieces and finally finish them, be satisfied with them, hoping that they bring something new from me to you, to my viewer, to my soul exhibition that is upcoming in the next three months. So I'm looking forward to diving into that and see what will happen next. I continue to work on my paintings, continue to work for my solo exhibition that happens in about three months. Here is a little bit of update from the studio, what I'm up to and how the things are progressing. As of uh, today, it's going to be my second session to work on those uh, small portraits that you see behind me as well as on the floor. Those are the portraits that I started uh, two days ago and I'm going to continue working on them tonight over the night as it's already like 7 p.m. I will stay here overnight to work on them. I like to work in the evening. It's a very stimulating time for me. I can focus and then get into the work. So as you can see, I have uh, just very limited palette on this uh, canvas it's only like an earth green and it's just the beginning of uh, the portrait it's the layers are very thin obviously it's uh, representative so you can see some sort of face or portrait maybe not as much as on this one here it was also as visible and realistic as on the previous one but I just kind of scrape it down with the squeegee and cardboard so you can't really see anything beside the abstraction however there is some sort of shape of the head that is visible on this painting and I'm hoping to bring more out of it and play with it a little bit more. Six paintings refer strictly to hypostasis, which I explained in my previous uh, video. I'm hoping to explore those three aspects of uh, hypostasis. If you are interested to hear more about it, let me know. I'll try to dive in into that and then give my own perspective on that as well. And even if you don't ask, probably I'll make a video about it just because I think it's a subject worth exploring. And meanwhile, I'm going to get ready for my painting session. Therefore, I'll see you in the next uh, video with update on what I just uh, did. I'm sorry to spread that in between videos, but I'm just treating those videos as a log into the art studio, more like an update that reflects on my sessions and gives you some overview of my art studio.